Well, the purpose of this lesson is to model a house from a blueprint. Let's begin. The first thing I would like for you to do is to remove our gentleman. We don't need him right now. Now, we're going to insert from our computer. I will navigate to my desktop and I will choose the floor plan, which I got from Google. Open. Now, I'm going to insert this as an image. All right. It comes up slowly. Now I want to hover over my origin. I will click once with my power finger, and then I will resize, dragging slowly, and I will click again. There we have it. Orbit, zoom, maybe a little pan, hotkey H, orbit again. Ah, that looks good. Okay, now notice that when I try to click on my image, my blueprint, nothing happens. So, here's what we're going to do. I want you to right click on the blueprint anywhere, and I want you to hit explode. We're going to explode it. Now, this will allow us to click on it. We can right click now and we can click on make group. All right, now that we've made it a group, we can then double click on it so that we can edit. All right, a little orbiting. Notice the dotted line around it. All right. Make sure you have the dotted line visible. Now what we are going to do is we are going to resize. All right, the reason why is because when we put it in at first, we weren't really paying attention to the dimensions, but we have dimensions here, okay? So it will be important to use that to resize accordingly. Now, let's take some measurements so we can resize to the proper dimensions. All right, let's come over here and notice here we have a picture of a tape measure. Click on that. All right, we have this array of buttons here. We are going to choose the first button, which is the tape measure. Select on it. Now, notice there is a little plus sign. Very small, but if you look carefully, you can see it. We are going to remove that plus sign right now by hitting on the control key on the keyboard. Very important that you do that. All right. Now, using a dimension that we see here as a reference point, we will, all right, get a good angle. We know that the living room is 13 feet, 5 inches wide. So we are going to come to the corner of this room. We are going to click. We are going to drag to the other corner. Notice I locked on an inference on the red axis, which is good. Then we will click. Now that I have clicked, I am then going to type in one four, I'm going to round up for 14 feet, and then I'm going to click on enter. And I get a message from the computer. It says, do you want to resize the active group or component? I do, I do want to resize. Let's see what happens when I click okay. Voila! Oh, something looks wrong. 
Well, I am now going to scroll out. Oh, there we go. I think I have resized accordingly. I'm going to pan using my H hotkey. Now I have the proper scale, which I will then use to outline. All right, now we are going to use a combination of the line tool, the rectangle tool, the push-pull tool, and even the paint bucket tool to create a 3D model of a two-dimensional floor plan. Let's begin. Okay, I want you to hit the hotkey R to pull up the rectangle tool. And then you are going to outline the perimeter of the floor plan. Now, while I am dragging, I am also zooming outward using my scroll wheel. This is a very interesting feature of SketchUp. Okay, I'm going to go to the opposite corner and I am going to click. Now, you may be wondering why I decided to do that. Well, let me tell you. If I then use the offset tool, I can create a second perimeter, therefore creating the walls. Let me demonstrate. I will click on hotkey F to bring up my offset tool. Now, very carefully, not to confuse the edges, I am going to look for the outer edge of my wall. Now, this might take a bit of zooming and a bit of patience, but here you can see I have found what I am looking for. I'm going to click, and then the computer is waiting for some offset input. All right, I am going to choose the width of my outer wall, and I will click. Ah, very good. Now, let's see if it worked. I will choose the push-pull tool. Use your hotkey. All right, I will zoom in again for your viewing pleasure, and I will select this area. And it did not work. Oh, but it did work. I was not patient enough. Let me hit Control Z to back up a little bit. Now, ah, there we go. See, I selected the wrong area. I want to select this part. Now I can push pull. All right, I will push pull my wall. I will zoom out and I can show you that it worked. Okay, the offset tool was very useful for that. Okay, now notice the unusual coloring of our walls that we push pulled upwards. Well, that is because of the original blueprint that we used had black and white coloring. So, Let's pull up our paint bucket tool, hotkey B. All right, now I'm going to select a color to edit. I will select this aqua color. I will then click on the pencil. I want to create a color that is all white. All right, notice it says all Fs here. I am going to click on Done. Now I can come over and I can paint my walls so that it will be easier for me as I outline the rest of my blueprint. Okay, I am orbiting. Ah, that's very satisfying. All right, now, 
I'm going to click on the spacebar to bring up my pointer tool. All right. Now I'm going to use the push pull tool one more time and I am going to push down my walls. I don't need them up right now. I'm going to get them out of the way. I'm going to lock on to an edge. Sometimes that can be a little a little tricky. Oh, but here we go. My inference point says on edge. I will use that inference point to click. Okay. Now, we can pull up our line tool and we can go through a better pan. Now we can bring up our line tool again and I can go through and I can start outlining my walls. Now you don't have to be perfect here, but keep in mind that you want to use your inference points. You want to make sure that you see on face. All right. And you also want to look for red and green lines so you know that you are working in parallel and perpendicular angles. All right, continuing to move around. Green, notice it's green. All right, notice as I move over it's red. And notice here that I know when to stop. Okay, because I can see the outside active reference point. So I'm going to click. I'm going to continue to move around. On face. On face. Ah, outside active, that's good. Click. On face. On face. And I'm zooming out. And I'm coming down to the bottom. And it says on edge. Okay, very good. Now if I've done everything right, and I pull up my push-pull tool, all right, and if I click here where it's highlighted, I should be able to move upwards. Oh, there we go. That looks good. Let's zoom out. There we go. I have my closet and the wall separating my bedroom and my living room. All right, now that you have push-pulled all of your walls upward, you can start painting. All right, just move all the way through. You can have a bit of fun with this. Now, as you can see, we have a lovely floor plan for which we can continue to model.